Get who is your favorite three arm wrestlers that you follow in our community? Oh man, it's so tough to just choose only three. But um, I would say like the top top of the list, it's gonna have to be Devin. And it's cliche because everyone loves Devin, obviously. But it's like one, he was the guy that got me into arm wrestling. That was the first video that I saw coming into it. Um, I did see the documentary Pulling John back in 2012. I was making like a short film for school uh, for my senior year. And I saw Pulling John and um, I just, for some reason, even though it was, they showed that it was a legit sport in the documentary, I didn't know it was an actual legit sport. So I didn't pursue it at the time. But while I was making my movie every night, I found myself watching that documentary and uh, you know, I fell in love with John and his story. I also, because of Pulling John really liked Alexi because like, I always, I, I know I'm like not John Verzink, but I always had that kind of, personality where i was like more introverted and uh you know i didn't have that confidence growing up that travis Bajan did in that documentary you know which uh i had a lot of friends like that and they were super cool but uh the other person that i also really looked up to because of the documentary was alexi so i love john because he's always like you know that match with him in terrace right he's just fighting from here you can see him just fighting with his soul and then coming back i'm like that's what i want to do in this sport it's just i want to lay it all on the line and then you see Alexi in the documentary, just boom, boom. And then that's the guy I really looked up to because I'm like, you know, anyone growing up in their teen years is like, I want that strength. I want to be that strong. And so, like, I really liked Alexi at the time. I wish, like, you could have seen how far he really could have taken the support if he stuck with it. But for the time that he was in it, I loved watching him. Loved him in that documentary. Um but yeah, so Devin would be on the top, and then you've got other people like Todd Hutchings. Um, I like Prudnik as well, so I'm so excited for that match coming up because it's just like, oh man, two of my favorite arm wrestlers. Um, so one uh, of my he's uh, talking about August six going down in East versus West, set by legend arm wrestler Engin Terze. We have a major title match that is set, and it's going down Todd Zilla versus Prudnik. Now, these two men are, could be the, the strongest pound-for-pound pound guys on the planet. So this is going to be interesting to see how this uh, this unfolds. What are you expecting, bro? Who do you think takes the win that day? Oh, man. Well, we do know that in previous encounters, Prunik had the upper hand. So that's out there to watch. Prunik is also more versatile than Todd. But dang, what Todd did to Arakli was just insane. So it's, it's really hard. I would have to give the upper hand to Prunik and say Todd is the underdog. But uh, it's going to be tough to choose who the winner would be. I, if I had to put money, like someone had a gun to my head, I would probably vote for Prunik. But I really want to see Todd pull this off, even though I like both of them, just because like uh, I've always room for the underdog, you know? Okay. And to see Todd win now when Prudnick's even stronger than when he got beat by him would just be absolutely incredible, you know? Oh, yeah. So let me ask but you, another, you like, see, sorry, go keep ahead. going. Oh, yeah, I was going to say another another one that would be on the top of my list. A lot of people, like, when they think of their favorite arm wrestlers, you know, you've got Devin, John, all, all Travis, all the people up top, but one of my favorites would also have to be Derek Smith, not just because of uh, him like coming up now in the arm wrestling and getting higher ranks. But if you've ever seen the match with Derek in person, when he really turns on a switch, it, he's unrecognizable. Derek is like one of the nicest guys you could ever meet, ever. He's so nice in person. He's helped me with so much. But when he puts on his headphones and he's really in the zone for the match, you don't recognize the guy anymore. He literally looks like he's going to go up on the stage and kill someone. And what he did to Tim Breslin was absolutely crazy, you know, so... Yeah, I got to experience that one live and in person, and uh, I got to see exactly what you're talking about. And uh, yeah. that was the first day I got to see uh, him in person compete. And wow, bro, just like you said, he came into that room. It was like he sprinted to the table. It was like uh, yeah. a polar bear loose, and uh, he just was a whole nother world that day. So uh, oh, shout out to Derek Smith. Really, really humble guy. Uh, great 
teacher of arm wrestling, really helps promote our small uh, sport. He uh, he's got the team uh, Alpha Team over in uh, SoCal area. So if you guys are ever over in that area, and you want to hit up a tra- uh, a practice, definitely hit up one of these guys and uh, get over there. Great great experience.